fierce. Go off. Yeah. I, I mean, being tall is just an opportunity to look down on others. <laughs> 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 Honestly, my might be out for that one. Is it? No, it's good, right? Hey, y'all, it's your girl, Monet Exchange, and welcome back to The Pit Stop, a show where we recap episodes of RuPaul's Drag Race season 14, and today is no different because it's the grand finale. Joining us, I'm very excited, I'm very happy, I'm elated, because she is a queen I love very, very, very much. She's been a part of two finales of RuPaul's Drag Race herself, and she's in this one. I'm gonna say this, brush your hair. It's Naomi Smalls. I'm so excited to be here, I'm Monet. I'm so happy you're here. You look incredible. You're a beacon of light. Oh, thank you. We are. <laughs> we look you. incredible. Well, you're like you're like you're like the good. I'm the evil. You know, which which I'm fine with that. I love being evil. No, but you know I'm evil too. <laughs> <laughs> brush your hair. Brush your damn hair. <laughs> Nay, how are you doing? I'm good. I, this is a long time coming. I know, I know, I know. You know, you were obviously one of my prime guests to be here, but you know, a bitch be busy, so we're happy to have you when we can. Whenever I talk about drag, I tend to get a little <laughs> So I really only do it with you and Bob. <laughs> so this just seems fitting. What have you been up to? What's, what's, what's going on, Nay? Oh my gosh, so I think it's gonna be like highlighted in this finale. Uh huh. But I've been doing Vegas for like the past two years. Love? Love. Yeah. I, I'm obsessed with Derek Berry. Okay, you said that because of your obsession to Derek Berry, I dove deeper into Derek Berry and I'm on the obsessed train. She is like, <laughs> she has taught me so much, like forgiveness. <laughs> She's taught me that I could be wrong. So you're in this finale, we're gonna get into it. How have you enjoyed season 14 so far? Oh my god, I love. I love watching the show, I love seeing what drag is doing. I think it's just so cute to see everyone's interpretation on something that I love and something yeah. I'm very protective over. Uh-huh. Speaking of protective, I mean, in All Stars 4, you had one of the most iconic moments of the season. It's a, a moment that made people watch the show and people keep talking about. The iconic, life's not fair. Is it though? <laughs> it's really not. It's really not. It's not. It's... You miss Cleo that shit. Yo, let me tell you all something. Life's not fair. I... Fix your shit. Pre COVID. Pre <laughs> I was wise. Pre COVID. <laughs> In the moment when you were doing it, did you think it would be so legendary? No, I just really wanted to see that bitch go home. <laughs> and I wish I could like rephrase it because I, at that time I was just young and then like in my head and mm -hmm. I feel like I was even participating as like someone was watching mm -hmm. me. Uh -huh. But really I just didn't trust the bitch. Work. And I needed her to go home. Work. Because I knew I was gonna go further. Work. And that's what like the competition is all about. <laughs> so we're talking about finales, May, and you've been in two of them. You're that bitch, yes or no? True or false? <sighs> Okay, I am very proud that I have never had to do that whole mirror message thing. Because mm. that honestly seems like the most embarrassing thing <laughs> in the entire world. Like crying and like having to write a message for the girls and like packing up alone. <laughs> <laughs> with no assistance. The, the terror. No. Imagine me, I had to do I had to do mine with Tyler Oakley. Honestly, yours is the most embarrassing. <laughs> like I would die. I would die. <laughs> What are some of your memories from the season eight finale? Oh, my favorite memories of season eight finale. I mean, I love doing like with Chi Chi, Kim, and Bob. Can we move into the house for the realness? Yeah. That was just like so cute that we were really just all on the same page and we really yeah. liked each other. Honestly, like, I will never have a RuPaul's Drag Race crown, but my friendship with Bob and Kim are like, those are my trophies for sure. Absolutely. Oh my God, that's so sweet. What about All Stars 4? Like, did you feel such a huge departure from that season eight finale to the to the, to the new format with All Stars 4? Yeah, I thought I, I thought I knew it all when I went to All Stars uh -huh. 4. I was like, I'm 25 now. Yeah. I'm 25. <laughs> but I was a lot more confident, but I also like, I would do everything so different. But that's like the greatest part about aging. Yeah. You just look back and you're like, oh, I would do that, I would do that, I would do that. It's called maturity. Work. Yeah. Okay, Nay, we, we have gabbed enough. Do you want to jump into this grand finale? I do. I want to see what these bitches like, are like. This is my final note. This mm -hmm. is what I'm proving to the world. Yeah. This is why I should have won. And this is why I should maybe have that invite for All Stars. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. So we start the finale with Michelle and an introduction of all the season 14 queens. And we see the dolls. And I have to say, a lot of these bitches have leveled up. Who stood out the most to you? For me, it was June Jambalaya. June Jambalaya's paint is... Uh, Doll. A doll. Beautiful. Like, sickening. Yeah, she looks like, sickening. Like, the blend, the colors. Like, 
I've never been that girl to like put in the oranges and the raspberries looks, with my contour, but like <laughs> it looks go good. off. It looks go good. off. Also loved Cornbread's look. I loved her taking oh beauty. Oh my the god. Beast. Yeah, that was beautiful. Also the story behind that, fierce. Yeah. Fierce, I fierce, really fierce. love it. Really. Like anyone can transition and be whatever image yeah. they want to be and I love it. And this, the 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 step the scepter, whatever it was, the rose, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what you call that. I could have done without that. Yeah? Yeah, just give me like a bouquet of like real roses. Ooh. Or like one. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Yeah. <laughs> One <laughs> rose. <laughs> um, would have been fierce, but go off. For season eight, what made you choose your finale dress? Because you that was the green latex. That is the worst I've ever looked in drag. I am convinced that is the worst I have ever looked in drag. I no, look like Naomi. I look like a goth version of Fiona from Shrek. Wrapped in a condom. I, it was like literally. <laughs> I think that's like tattooed in my brain as like the worst I've ever looked. And, like, really? Kim will send that photo to me like every like once every three months. Kim is so shady. I know. So Naomi, since you are the goddess of fashion, shall we talk about the top five looks? Let's do it. Let's give them some screen time. Okay. Yeah. First up, Miss Angeria. Size Both. does matter, I guess. <laughs> I like it. I think this is very dramatic. I love the drama of it. This is Vegas. Yeah. This is feathers. This is big. I like it. If I was sitting in the balcony, I'd be so happy. Like, I'd be so happy. I'd be like, okay, this is why I paid <laughs> for the cheap seat. <laughs> I can actually see something. Yeah. And, you know, I, I, I clocked her this season for having nude delusion mm -hmm. because, uh, you know, sometimes the nude is off, but this will, this matches her perfectly. Yeah. From yeah. Distance, from the balcony. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, Miss Bosco. Blue, I guess blue was the color, huh? She looks gorgeous. Yes. I I guess I'm finally understanding the whole like demon queen thing. I am too now that I see this look. I wasn't getting, the horns wasn't only selling it for me. I gotta give it up. That bitch did not change her eyebrow like one time. And not getting, well she get she got red for it a little bit one time. Saltine, is that what it was? It was it was, it was when she was the bitch in the, in the, in the Moulin Rouge. Oh yeah. It you? was like, I was like, this is taking us out of the character. This is a full circle moment for her. I feel like this outfit is her eyebrows. Like, yeah. All the shapes just yeah. make sense. Up next, Miss Diabetti. Okay, love the color, and I like from the bottom of the feathers up. Yeah, I don't know. I have an issue with just like a, a plume. It looks like a big like feather duster. I don't know. I really have an issue with that lip shape too. Well, she does it all the time, and I'm like, okay, you're trying to sell us on it that this is your thing, but it does not always work. Like, I did not like it in the reunion. And keep your tongue in your mouth. <laughs> I hate when people put their tongue out so much. Like, why are we doing that? And I, I don't like the feathers down at the bottom. I, I, I think it looks a little ball headed and I don't like it. But also, like, there's a medium budget that went into it. Mm. And it's one of the rest of the look, so. Yeah. Let's go to the Lady Camden, Chariot of Fire. I don't, oh, is the horse face like a thing? I, <laughs> I, I don't, I mean, I watched the season, but I don't remember that. Um, yeah, she's a horse with a little in a chariot. Is there a Folsom thing I'm missing? Uh, maybe. We're reaching. <laughs> We're reaching. This is not my favorite. I did not like this thing, and yeah, I was not a fan of this look. I gotta give it up to start the night with like something on your face. Never, couldn't be me. Could not be Would me. Would never be me. I don't even wear, ooh. <laughs> what? I don't like to wear a mask and an Uber, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Like, because I'm going to get that nose contour crease. I know. When I will I literally girls just, do that. I'll sit in the back like this. <laughs> in the back, they were like, talking like, mm -hmm. They already hate me. I'm a man in a wig in the back seat. Like, <laughs> what's this going to do? Yeah, I could not imagine your first look of the night, you are already f***ing your makeup. That is too much for me. It's cool. <laughs> it's different than the other girls. Yeah. Work. Props for that. And last up, the Willow Pill. This is sexy. I yeah, love it. No, this is hot. Very There's sick. like a definition of a woman is a low hip cutout. Right? Like, live for that. And Willow's body, it, when Willow shows that body off, I'm always like, oh, bitch, you work. Her face looks good here, too. Yeah, her face looks good. Yeah. Willow looks good. The girls look rested. Hello. Uh huh. <laughs> Invested. <laughs> Who has your favorite look? Probably Bosco. Bosco. Yeah. I think that was clean. Yeah. She looked gorgeous. I love the color combo with the hair. Yeah. I'm gonna say Willow Pill had my favorite look. She's trying to cut you, bitch. Right? I love it. Who had your least favorite look? Probably Daya. Daya Betty? And it might be because of the tongue. Yeah, the tongue. Just watch that tongue throughout this finale. Did she do a lot? A lot. Oh, 
God. I, it's like my least favorite emoji. It's my least favorite like sexy like. I feel like all these hetero guys are like, mm. <laughs> like I hate that. <laughs> or like college girls are like. Mm. Mm, okay. Know. Next up, our queen RuPaul enters from the sky. How long do you think she was up there? Oh my gosh, I have like insider tea. Ooh, can you tell us the insider tea, Naomi? All the guys who work at the Vegas show, they always like come and check in with us, and we're like painting for the show. Uh huh. And the hottest one, his name is Frank. Frank. He's so hot. Oh my god. <laughs> he has a wife. His wife's a showgirl. Work. So. And her name's Naomi. So <laughs> <he's doing it. laughs> but he's the one who lowered down Rue. And I guess he had like a wrist brace thing. And Rue was like, Frank, you get that in a f***ing accident? <laughs> that sounds, that sounds just like, like, like Of Ru course, of course, RuPaul. And he like ate that up. Work. I've heard that story like three times now. Work. Yeah, I love Rue. So I just picture RuPaul just up there just cl cleaning shrimp with his hands. And just popping them in every every. She loved to do that. Oh, girl! But Naomi, serious question though: mm -hmm. Is it chocolate? Ooh, is it chocolate? Is it? Oh. I think it's hazelnut. Bottoms would be like, why'd you stop? <laughs> 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 Ru announces that the top five will each be performing their own solo songs. <gasps> We're Bitch. back to this. Back to it. Thank <laughs> God. I. <laughs> No shade with the lipstick for the crown, the butterflies, mm -hmm. rest in peace. Oh my god, iconic though. Iconic behavior. But I am, I love this format so much better. I think it really gives a girl a chance to shine and not like fumbling and trying to like get your gags and your tricks out. I love this. Love, 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 love it. Yeah, no, it was really cool to have like your own track. And I remember at the like the, the first time I heard the legs song, mm -hmm. I was like, oh wow, I'm really gonna hear this song for the rest of my life. And no doubt, it was like trending on TikTok. Work, like, bitch. Your leg song was very memorable. It was it was an iconic moment in Drag Race, and people still, I mean, till this day, I mean, you you keep on showing them off, so we just have to keep on talk, keep on talking about them. Well, what else am I gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> Did you think when you were preparing that that number that it would be as fierce as it was? Yeah. You were twenty one. I was twenty, like just freshly twenty two. Just freshly twenty two. Mm -hmm. A twenty two year old on Drag Race, like having this moment. I know. Now I'm like Jasmine Kennedy is about to join the Vegas, and she's like, I'm twenty two. I'm like. <laughs> I never thought I was gonna be that girl, the oldest one in the room. Ah! Damn! Damn! God damn! <laughs> Our first queen performing is Angeria. Are you excited to see Angeria perform? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't necessarily love like drag that spells out. So like, when she had like little stars that say like, oh, does it say Angie or something. Yeah, is it Angie? <sighs> <laughs> Just in case we forgot. The craft store glitter letters, I just can't. <laughs> I can't. There's so many cooler things to do with just your time on stage. But it's also personality. Like, why do you think people were so infected by her personality? Like, RuPaul, all, a lot of us watching really, really feel that. Oh, absolutely. I mean, her confidence is the like confidence, yeah. sky high. Yeah. I mean, really, that's all you, that's not all you need, but 70% of the 100. I think it's like 70, 30. 100%. 30% I agree with 70%. Skill, 70 <laughs> personality. 1,000%. What are your thoughts about the song? How many wins? She had two wins, but in the top a lot. Was it a group win? No, okay. there were two. Okay, songs. okay. <laughs> Good for her. Track record. I mean, when you say track record, I think of like Shea Coulee or like Ben Delacre, bitches that had like four and five wins. The I Bianca. mean, the Biancas. Nigeria track record. Yeah, it's a little bit of a reach. It's a little bit of a reach. But I thought, was, I thought her, her performance was good. She had a good command of the stage. Did I like scream? I was like, oh my God, this is so good. No, I, I feel like I was at a nice, like O bar in Manila. Like one of those like really fierce drag bars. I feel like I was a, at a bar like that, watching a very well produced number. That's a pretty small bar. Yeah. <laughs> Next we see Rue interview Nigeria. I never really got this because I, I did All Stars and I didn't make it to the finale season 10. What is it like to be interviewed by Rue in front of thousands of people? Rue talked to my mom and my mom loves that story. I love it. Love. It was cute. June. It was cute. Yeah, Lady June. June. Honestly, the goddess. Stan. Next up, Bosco, who had a very wild ride this season and um, you know has been called out for being an alpha repeater. What do you think about that? When people start like start coming for the girls who rely on the body, mm -hmm. bitch, you could never, <laughs> you could never. So Bosco performs her original song. What do you think about this number? I thought it was sultry. I thought it was mm -hmm. sexy. I was entertained the entire time. I yeah, think she's gorgeous. This was cool. 
Yes. I did not see the reveal of the wings come in. I thought maybe it was something she took off. I did not see the dancers moving them. So in my mind, I was like, oh, this is dope. So Ru interviews boss. Why did I say interview like that? Interview? Interview. Inter okay. So talk. Just, yeah. Just say talk. Yeah. So Ru talks with Bosco. Thank you. <laughs> See? Boom. <laughs> the GGB quote for the <laughs> diehard. So Ru's talking to Bosco and realize, honestly, Bosco was the comedy queen of the season. Does Bosco being the comedy queen surprise you? No, she seems really smart. And I think to be like funny, you have to. I mean, I like smart humor. Same. I like Seinfeld, curb your enthusiasm. I'm not really like a Looney Tune mother. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> I like jokes with layers. <laughs> Next, we have Daya Betty for her moment in the sun on the Vegas Flamingo stage. And Daya has been the underdog this entire season. She's been the wild card. Why do you think that is? Like, why wh Why do you think Daya was slept on? She went home first. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm like, bitch, is that a question? Bitch, you, you were the first bitch to go home. I respect yeah. the confidence. Because, like, at every episode, I've been like, you went home first. Uh huh. You went home first. Uh huh. But you went home first. Uh huh. Go back home. <laughs> uh, so, Dyer performs her original song. What are your thoughts about it? She's definitely fighting some demons the yeah. whole season. But uh -huh. I love it. Oh, let me tell you something. People can say whatever they want about Diabetes. She brought a little pizzazz, a little drama. If Diabetes was not here, this season would have been 10 times more boring. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Kumbaya, Drag Race, I'm. Is not here for it. Not what I'm about. I want to be entertained. I want people we... to fight. I want to be involved in the fight, too. <laughs> so. so, as RuPaul be doing, in her interview with Daya, he's like, so Daya, your bitch ass went home first. <laughs> but now you're here in the grand finale. I'm like, damn, Ru, can this bitch forget? Can you let us forget it for a minute? I kind of love it. I love it, too. I love it, I love it. Do you find that kind of redemption impressive in Drag Race? Yeah, for sure, because it wasn't like, it mentally got to her that it like just made her like kind of give up and like, yeah. why am I here? Yeah. Um, it would f me up. Next up, we have the Lady Camden. And you know, Lady Camden was definitely an underdog. I, I sure didn't pin her to be a front runner. She was a slow burn. Like, throughout the season, we saw how fierce she was, and now she's here in the finale. Do you respect that kind of drag race player? I feel like that's what people would say about my drag race track records. Mm. Which I hate, <laughs> but I mean, go off. Yeah. She always delivers. She always had a high kick. So the Lady Camden performs her original song. It was very, very Queen vibes, very Freddie Mercury. Obviously, she loves the genre of music, and it's Yeah. Tutu reveal was fierce. She could have, you know, put some more money into the leotard <laughs> and the wig. And the wig. She loves a wig reveal, huh? Is it a wig reveal if it's like just taking a wig off into your natural hair? True. Her natural hair? Like her Freddie Mercury was- Oh, that wasn't, was that not, no, because her natural hair is red. Was it? Yeah. Was that a wig? It was a wig. Liar. I think so. I need to see the footage. <laughs> it must have been a full lace. It must have been a full lace. Yeah, it was like, a wig. Custom hairline with like male pattern baldness. <laughs> because oh, I believe my. that was her hair, not a wig. <laughs> Damn. Right? <laughs> Really? Wow, I stand corrected. I thought I was a hair girl. No. Is my hair frizzy right now? Tell me. A little bit. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. So do we say she's a stunt queen? I guess. Yeah, she loves a stunt. I don't know. She loves, she a blonde wig? No. No, 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 Wig? I can't. <laughs> now, last but certainly not the least, this is Ms. Willow Pill. All season long, I've been calling her a master strategist, and I think she made that very clear. But why do you think Willow captured so many hearts this season? Why do people fall in love with the pill? I don't know why people fell in love, but I was one of those people. Mm -hmm. I've worked with her in the past. And oh, really? Like, yeah, maybe that's just like, work. you know, a little. She was just always so cool. Always okay. so. Willow performs her original song, I Hate People. Bitch. Love. So good. The, th the 3D printing yes. moment. I love her energy. I, I, I like the song. Yeah, no, the song was great. It's definitely the best song. She got the best part in the show, too. Everyone wants to go last. Girl, be the closer. Mm -hmm. Unless yeah. it's a roast, you know. <laughs> Rue asked Willow to define drag queens, and she says mental illness with some rhinestones. Do you agree? <laughs> Sure. 
Sure, I don't really like rhinestones sometimes. <laughs> no, yeah, I, I think all of us are a little bit delusional. All of us have a little bit of mental illness. <sighs> That's just Girl, part of the fantasy. You have to be a little sick and twisted to do drag, okay? Drag is body mutilation, bitch. You are literally medical grade adhesiving things to your body. The first time I ever saw somebody duck with their waist, it was uh -huh. Chi Chi on season eight. Work. And she told me it was the, the Louisiana corset. <laughs> Louis I just always thought that's what it was. <laughs> no, girl, bitches be resourceful, okay? She also told me that if you are a bottom and you on somebody's you call them a Picasso. <laughs> <laughs> we call the boys back home Picasso. <laughs> also, no. another douching tip, Vanjie says, last rinse, drop a Now, I tried it, and I ended up in the, in, the, in the ER. Did you use a drop, or did you use a, like, a, I used, like, a an ounce. Yeah, I, 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 about an ounce. Mm. I really wanted to, like, go home, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I get it. You get excited. You know, yeah. I'm like, I, like, I don't need just one drop. I can do a like, dollop. He's at the dentist tonight. <laughs> <laughs> now, before we find out who the top two is, we see the cast of Drag Race Live perform Losing is the New Winning, featuring the one and only you, Miss Thing. I know the other girls, too. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, let me tell you something. You, first of all, you were fully moisturized. Cocoa butter, shea butter, uh, uh, Vaseline. What else was on there? Honestly, all the oils you can think Bitch. of. Bitch. I hadn't shaved in like a month since before that, so everything was, was like fresh. <laughs> <laughs> Razor burn who? <laughs> no, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. And I got to be picked up by the hottest dancer in the pit crew. Mark. Mark Romaine. Ooh. I love Mark. He has a twin brother I think is very cute too. Donovan. Donovan. So hot. Yeah. They're both so hot. I know. I would let. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> What's your flavor? What was it like watching the performance back? Oh, it's cute. I mean, we do that five nights a week at the Flamingo. We repulse Drag Race live. Honestly, it's so fun. At that point of the show, is like, it's over normally. Like, we're about to go home. So it's like, uh, uh, I'm getting chicken in. fingers after this. <laughs> <laughs> So it was fun to see it televised. We also see a package that honors a Las Vegas legend, oh. hot chocolate, hot chocolate. I stan hot chocolate. Work. Probably one of the nicest people I've ever met in my entire life. I think the nightclub in Vegas that all the dolls tour to is like my second or third gig after season eight. Oh, so, work. And Hot Chocolate came and had Word. a welcoming committee and she made me feel right at home. She's classic, she's Tina Turner, she is, I love that Rue loves her, that makes so much sense. Oh yeah, you know they had some some days in the past. So the top five return to the stage after the performances and RuPaul announces that the roulette wheel will pop up showing who is making it to the top two. Luck be a drag queen tonight. Ooh, do you feel like the queens are feeling her really tense? Like if I was in that moment, it would be very nerve wracking for me to like have my fate be decided in front of all these people. No, yeah, for sure. The pressure is on when they're making that decision in front of everybody. Mm -hmm. But I think it adds to it. It's a finale. It's supposed to be high tense. Like we're not supposed to be just like, oh, I see that happening. Yeah. I want to see some bitches cry. <laughs> like when you lose, you should cry. <laughs> we find out that the top two are drum roll. <laughs> Lady Camden and Willow Pill. And I am excited for this final number. I think both these queens lip sync very differently. Mm -hmm. They're gonna have to really like do their thing to prove why they win. Who do you think is a better lip syncer? Oh, I think Camden for sure. For sure. One thousand percent, Camden is, is a better lip syncer than. Like, yeah, she's got more tricks. She got more stunts, and I mm -hmm. think she just owns the song more. I think she's more like emotive. Yes. With the lip sync. Yeah. That's something I look for. I want you to feel the song. For sure. For sure. But you know what? Big, 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 big round of applause to Angeria, Bosco, and Dyer. They all did a great job this season. And you know, just because you don't make the top two doesn't mean you're not a fierce bitch and you're not a winner. I don't know. <laughs> You're trying to be nice, bitch. I feel like a loser. <laughs> and it's okay to feel like a loser. It's just factual. You didn't win. Yeah. So as the top two gear for their final lip sync, season 13, Simone returns to the stage. Do you think Simone had a great reign? She did a lot. She did a lot. No, yeah, she did a lot. She went to the Met Gala. She did the Savage Fenty show. Yes. She oh, did. yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah, was, that was cute. Yeah. That was cute. Yeah. Great hair. Gigi hooked her up. After Miss Simone, season 13's La La Rie comes down to bestow a title that is very near and dear to my heart, Miss Congeniality. And Miss Congeniality goes to Cornbread. La, the snack. The snack. The beauty and the beast. What do you think of Cornbread winning Miss Congeniality? 
Honestly, she deserves it because her episode rate was cut real, real early. You know? Yeah, yeah. And I think she could have won the crown. So congrats, Miss Cornbread, my fellow congenial sister. And maybe I'll see you for, I don't know, the congeniality season, baby. I'm, I'm gonna keep on coming back if they'll have me. You're about to have so many crowns. <laughs> I hope, girl, I hope. We'll see what happens. Well, babe, we've reached the moment where it's time for the queens to lip sync for the crown. So Lady Camden and Willow Pill return to the stage, but Rue has an important message. Girl, the winner's not getting 100K, they're getting $150,000. And the runner up 50K. Whether Willow or Camden loses, they know they're at least going home with $50,000. That's fierce. Yeah, but I still wanna. Oh yeah, you still want the 150 for sure. But knowing I had the comfort I'm going home with something, I would be elated. The Lady Camden and Willow Pill lip sync to Gimme, Gimme, Gimme by Cher. What do you think? What are we thinking? What's going on in this lip sync? I love Cher. Mm -hmm. Love the Vegas stage. Mm -hmm. These girls are lucky. A little bit of missed opportunity, I think. I think they're both in very flat looks for a final lip sync. Well, yeah, Willow was in that suit jacket thing. It looks really stiff, mm -hmm. and then she revealed into the pants, which, okay. Okay. It's cute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I did not see Willow's second reveal coming. I, she revealed into the pant look, and I was like, oh, dope. I didn't see the reveal into the purple look. You thought she was just gonna be a big box of pants walking around. I, girl, she, she, she was also a rat for the finale for no reason, so who knows what she gonna do. T. Okay, in the moment I was over it, but now thinking about it, referencing yourself in the season you were just on by tripping. Girl. Yeah. So overall, I think it was a pretty even lip sync. They were both doing their things, their little tricks. This is Willow. <laughs> There's a lot of that. So who do you think won the lip sync then? Probably Camden. Really? Yeah, I think she's just a better performer. In my opinion, Willow stole a, stole a bit more from me with that little forward roll. Cause bitch, I don't, with a wig and when bitches be rolling and drag, I'm like, that is too much friction up here. She did that roll, she landed perfectly, and she really gave me that final button on the song. I really love that. Well, Naomi, we have a winner. Congratulations to Willow Pill! Congratulations, darling. What an incredible queen this season. She really, really, really did the damn thing. She played strategically. She kept her cards very close. She had a great run this season. Yeah, it's about damn time. A widow girl won. <laughs> Not just a regular girl, a widow, a widow, widow girl. girl. <laughs> Material widow girl. But a Burger King get a widow crown. <laughs> Nay, why were you a Willow fan this season? Willow made me think the moment that she walked in the workroom. Mm -hmm. Like, yes, I hated the exposed bobby pins, but <laughs> I loved that the look made me think. Mm -hmm. I love that it was different. I even love the platform flip-flop. Yeah. Like, and I loved her performance in the talent show. She's just different. Yeah. And I love that there's still something different out there that can be on RuPaul's Drag Race with so many seasons we're at right now. Love. Naomi, I am so happy that you were able to stop by the pit stop. You know how much I love you, how much I adore you, and it's good to have my sister here for the finale. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. I promise I didn't say yes because I'm in this episode. <laughs> 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 and thank you all for watching the Pit Stop all season long. Listen, this has been a dream. This has been a treat. And honey, y'all about to see me every week on your TV, baby, on Paramount Plus for RuPaul's Drag Race All Star 7. I love being here at the Pit Stop. I got Team Monet all the way. If that's not already clear, like, everyone go home. <laughs> you slay the promo. Thank you, sir. Who else is gonna, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Girl. You are like the tape. The that tape. Fits boat leaks. Girl. Is causing me to have a hernia right now. Like my crotch <laughs> is screaming, but. You look stunning. Thank you. <laughs> <And> <laughs> it's called mental illness. Hey, it's Michelle Visage. Do you want gay? Shit? Check out RuPaul's Drag Race YouTube channel and hit subscribe.